You mentioned antibiotics. Um, what does that do? They're necessary, there's no doubt about that, um, and they can be very helpful, but what, after you've gone through the protocol of an antibiotic, what has that done to your gut health? Well, uh, this is a great topic because uh, antibiotics can be life-saving medications. Mm -hmm. uh, we need them. I mean, if you're sick, you got pneumonia, you're in the intensive care unit, uh, and you're on the ventilator, you need the antibiotics. So that's not really like a time to say, oh, I don't want antibiotics because they're bad for my gut. I mean, you're going to die if you don't take them. So, you know, in those circumstances, antibiotics are helpful. The problem is that um, we went through this whole phase in medicine where, you know, uh, we started thinking anti antibiotics uh, kill bacteria, bacteria cause problems, so therefore kill all bacteria because bacteria are bad. And we kind of went overboard with that. You know, you're on one side of the spectrum, you flip to the other side of the spectrum. And so um, now we start prescribing antibiotics for anything. You got a little cough won't go away, take a Z-Pack. You got a little runny nose, take amoxicillin. I mean, we don't know that we really need antibiotics in those circumstances. And when you're taking antibiotics regularly or even intermittently for problems that you don't have an indication for, that's when you develop problems. Um, and the bacteria can develop resistance genes and then you need different antibiotics to do different things that are stronger and now you get more and more of an imbalance. And we know that even if you take a course of a Z-Pack for, which is a five-day course of uh, an uh, antibiotic, if you take that for five days, one course of a Z-Pack could potentially make certain populations of bacteria in your gut dormant for up to two years. So two years, so think about it. Next time you get a cough from a virus, is it really worth that? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Um, and so, you know, when you do need to take antibiotics for a necessary reason, then it's good to sometimes take probiotics, prebiotics, make sure you're eating a healthy diet, and doing all the other good things that can help kind of, you know, um, withstand the changes uh, that you're uh, getting as a result of taking the antibiotics as best as you can.